Vice here. Cat Quest 2. Uh, let's go. This is the first part. <laughs> uh, I've played the first game off camera, and I, I thought it was okay. Alright, yeah, let's choose normal difficulty. Long ago, there was a great evil. Two kings fought against it, but fell to its corruption. However, prophecy foretold their return. For only their light can shine through the darkness. Well, why didn't it work the first time, mysterious narrator? Kiri? I guess is that thing's name? My kings, you're really back. The prophecy came true. It's me, Kiri, your royal advisor. The world is in peril. You must follow me. Uh, I'll see you on the other side. They've got twos on the back of their heads. Level one recommended. Brave cave. Cat rags, equipping the cat-shaped bag. All right. X to attack. A, a to roll, by the way. <laughs> Dog rags. Guess I should keep my partner, oh wait. Wait a minute. These are both Wait, oh, why to switch? Okay. Understood. Hey, to roll away from enemy attacks. Yeah. Figured that out. By the might of the first kings, awaken this power in you. You learned flame pur pur and freeze paw. Left bumper to use magic. Got him. Okay. Uh. All right. That appears to have been a demo that traps hurt. Or maybe this enemy is weak to traps and not much else. Why to swap characters during solo play? All right. All right, and just like in the first game, attacking enemies gives magic back. I kind of assumed that. Dungeon complete. Also, I noticed that the level, or at least I assume that's character level, it appears between the two characters. Experience bar doesn't change at all when I swap characters. Rest at save stones to recover. Taking a brief nap, saving our game with a cat-shaped disc. You're not going to like this, but evil kings have usurped your thrones. Lioner the Persecutor, and Wolfen the Labrathor. That's why only you can help us, my kings. Alright. It's the King's Marker. The King's Marker allows fast travel across your kingdoms. Well, it's not mine anymore, is it? We're in f feline guard now. Lioner rules here, though. A blacksmith called Kit Kat promised to help us. Meet me there. I think she was in the first game. Oh, and welcome home, your majesty. Quest complete. Achievement unlocked. Cat venture begins. Peasant Holly. Meowrg. Lioner is a parable king. All he cares about is his war with the Lupus Empire. I'm gonna really struggle to pronounce some of the words in this game, aren't I?
And yeah, uh, casting magic happens instantly. You just need MP. So, you just weave it into your physical combo whenever you feel like hitting the button. I've kind of got a basic feel for how often I want to use magic so that I still have some. Your Majesty, something's happened to Kit. Oh no! Take a look at this note on Kit's door. Gone for a little bit. We'll be back soon, y'all. This was two days ago. I'm worried she's in some sort of trouble. You sniffed out her scent? Good doggy. Uh, I meant, good job, you roughing this. Alright, well, what's this? It's the bookkeeper. I am the keeper of all stories in time. Do you wish to reverse time on this quest to once you first took it? No. Ah! <laughs> Help me, y'all. Recommended level four. Oh. We found you. Kit Kat. Hold up a tinge. You're the ones Carrie told me about, aren't ya? Oh, pardon my rudeness, your majesties, but I'm at my wit's end. I'm too lazy to get him oars there. Will you help me, Perlies? Sure. Oh. I thought I would have to attack the ore for some reason. Grabbing that in case grabbing the ore forces me back. You got him, ores. Oh. There's more over there, your majesties. I wonder if the AI companion cannot be harmed by traps. You got more of them ores. Yeah, I did. Knight armor. Defense plus 10% in addition to some flat defense. Equip on me, the cat. Can't open that while an enemy is nearby. Solved the puzzle. Can't venture vest. Oh, physical damage. Give me that. You give the ores to Kit. I'm impressed. See you back at my shop, y'all. Heart. Why did they write heart? Especially when they have that emote. Oh well. Wait, the tax is how much again? I'm sorry, ma'am. All cats who don't follow the new laws will first persecution. Ah, fine. Take it. So Kit here is going to be our own personal blacksmith. That's right. Any armor needs upgrading, come to me. Hey y'all, want to upgrade your armor? Probably should. Hmm. Three physical damage. Alright, that's enough upgrading. None of the other upgrades would increase my ability to deal damage. A nefarious figure! Awesome news! The mages want to help fight Lioner too. Oh, I misread their intent. Let's scurry to the arcane head potters. Quest complete. Let's hope the mages can teach us some powerful magic. I told you already, it's the theory of infinite timelines. Meow? A dog? We, we're being invaded. 
Relax, they're the ones I told you about. Oh, my whiskers. Quickly, come inside then, your meowjesties. Rest point over there, but we're only 10 minutes in. Walk up to the Universal Yarn Ball to upgrade your magic. Do, do you want to upgrade your magic? Ah, yes, our magics. Showing obvious favoritism to the cat. <laughs> Forbidden Magic 6. Time travel is dangerous. All must be as it was to prevent a paradox. Huff puff. Lioner's soldiers are coming. Perlise, you must protect us, your majesty. Here, take this. It should help. Lightning staff, a weapon. One magic damage, 15% lightning damage. Mage weapons shoot from afar. Oh. Well, I'll try it out personally. Also, I noticed in the tutorial, it seemed like equipping a mage weapon cuts your max HP in half. By order of King Lioner, all mages must be persecuted and tied to a cucumber. Oh no, cats don't like cucumbers. Or at least the surprise of them. Step aside, you two. I see. Then you leave us no choice. Unleash Mr. Rocky! But sir, Mr. Rocky is extremely weak to magic, right? Shush, don't let him hear that. Mr. Rocky, no! <laughs> I guess I could try to specialize the two characters in the two damage types. I'm already wearing the physical attack armor, so I figured I'd just swap the weapon over. Oh, th thank you, your mad meowjesties. Meowkay, we're ready for Lioner now. To the cat pit all. Quest complete. Oh, that already gave me my health back. But I would like to rest and save. Alright, so if I find any obvious mage armor, the dog gets it. And then I can equip physical attack on the cat. And I'll of course still use magic. Oh. You ready to reclaim your throne, your Majesty? It was level seven. Oh, but we're ready. Are the preparations complete? Yes, Lord Lioner. Some laughter. Jester A and Jester B. You'll not see it coming. <laughs> and Lioner runs off. That was Lioner. Quick, we need to follow him. I think we need to level up twice, but, uh, what do I know? You remember which way Lioner went, right? I think so. Wasn't really paying attention, honestly. Requires golden key. Okay. Fools! You fell into my trap! Mwahaha! Let's take care of them, Lord Lioner. 
Oh, I tried to roll through and I think they actually uh, blocked me. You doing over <laughs> okay over there, dog? I, of course, should pick up the experience. Maybe we'll get a. Oh wait, no, we're like nowhere near level up. I was gonna say maybe we'll get a clutch mid phase level up. Hmm. <laughs> do I have to do everything myself? Yeah, you do. All right. Okay, your attack is bigger. Resist. No, can't interact with that right now. Can't interact with that. Maybe we're supposed to die? Oh no, we're just supposed to live. I was worried when I saw your faces, but you're both just pathetic. Enjoy the rest of your lives stuck on this island. <laughs> Find a way back to the mainland. Alright. Rest site seems good. King's blood, awake thy inner power. You learned to heal paw. Mana also increased, or max mana, whatever. Let's see, so. Do I really only have one magic button in this game? No, I have four magic buttons again. Ah, and they can only be equipped by one character. Each. So we'll probably find plenty of magic spells. Level 10 dungeon, huh? King Sigil. Free stuff. And Night Axe. Gives some defense in addition to having attack. Take the other side path. More free stuff. Healing staff. Increases effective heal paw. We don't have a lightning spell yet. So it's just a better lightning staff. Oops. Uh, well, there goes half my health. <laughs> um, how do I remove a spell? Oh, by trying to equip it on the character it's already equipped on. Oops. So I guess let's just... Demo that spell. That's a long time. All right, King's blood. You seek a way to reclaim your thrones. Prove yourself worthy and our greatest weapon can be yours. Hmm. Ah, okay, the shield breaks eventually. Dog, we've got him cornered. You can just stand back and cast. I think I actually read, though, that um, the AI, AI player is invincible while you're not controlling them. So actually everything's fine. It's just funny having him just hang out by the enemy. Why write good AI when you can just not and have it not actually ruin the player experience? Of course, it just does seem more fair having him as the ranged character because of that. He received the King's Sigil. 
Take the sigil and forge the weapon to defeat any foe. The King's Blade. Happy meow. We're here. The King's Sigil Ruins. Oh my whiskers! I was so worried. Did I hear you right? You couldn't even put a scratch on Lioner? You show Kiri the King's Sigil. Oh. It's exactly the same mark on the backs of our heads. Th that's the mark of the first kings. So they told you we'd need the king's blade, huh? I hoped we wouldn't have to resort to this, but... Meow yeah, okay. Let's go ask Kit about it. Oh. Because I have the attention of enemies, I can't interact. If we're reforging the King's Blade, Kit would know what to do. You show the King's Sigil to Kit. Th that Sigil? It's impossible. Kit, you helped forge the King's Blade. Can you do it again? Shush it, Kiri. Now they know my age. Meow. <laughs> Forget you heard anything and meet me outside. continue the quest just by following, but I am a bit behind the curve already. Huh? Y'all hear that? Oh no! Flame squirrels. Ow. <laughs> Damages. Oh, the AI is healing. Alright. Wow, you saved me again. You all work well together, huh? Yeah, we do. Yeah, I'll just stand in this for a moment. No big deal. Y'all know the real reason the King's Blade shattered? It's because the first kings feared its power. So they left me a shard to ensure that no one could forge it again. Kit's Trial. Defeat me and I'll help y'all reforge the King's Blade. This is new. Ow. Was expecting the spikes to work exactly like before. Another Lightning Staff, which levels it up because we found duplicate gear. The Cat Venturer Blade. Increases physical damage. Although... Yeah, of course. Okay. <laughs> Get ready, boys. My hammer packs quite a punch. Don't think we're gonna get much done until, yeah, that healing field wears off. So eventually there will be enemies that attack in patterns besides a circle, if the first game is anything to go off of. But it's kind of the most expected enemy attack. Just a circle of some size on some delay.
Ah. She got me. Oh no, we've killed her. <laughs> hey, y'all pretty good. Kate gives you a Lionardo's key. This key will unlock the ruins where a shard is kept. Kiri will find y'all there, okay? You know, cats and dogs never seen eye to eye. But I feel you boys might change all that. Heart. <laughs> Book of the First Kings, excerpt one. In the age before kings and casters, there lived the old masters. They built a great civilization, but left the, uh, us only ruination. Huh? Oh, it's a king's marker. Okay. And the sort of constellation things are showing us where on the map they are. And there are only staircases to ones we've found. Alright. Level 10. Let's just go. Deckam Ruins. Examine the tablet. Yeah. Test thy metal and our treasure shall be pause. Wave one. Come to think of it, if the dog is the mage, I should probably trade him spells. You know, let him have the upgraded one. Oh, and that one strikes vertically, I'm now noticing, rather than in a circle. I should probably just be going after these ones that aren't physical resistant. <laughs> you know, things that make sense. The treasure is yours. And it warps us to the tablet for some reason. A ranger axe. Roll distance plus 20%. That actually seems like a good bonus. So yeah, it's been 28 minutes. Salutations, I'm Dr. Jacket. Requesting help gathering monster meat. Not now. No, oh, here's a save though. So yeah, that'll be it for this part. And the next part, probably following the quest marker yet again. Oh, although that's labeled with an 18. Maybe not. Maybe just the arbitrary side things to catch up in level. Anyway. See ya!